Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day ones, all of my foundation subscribers. Thank you, you are appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course subscribe. To all of my new subscribers, thank you so much. You are appreciated. So, Sagis, this is a general energy check-in. It's not going to resonate with all of you as there are a lot of you in the collective. Check your sun, moon, or Venus rising. That may help you to connect the dots or just check the signs in your natal chart that may help you to connect the dots as well. Also, if this is not your reading, that's okay. Click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have something for you at another point in time. Or feel free to book me for a personal reading. Sorry about that, you guys. It is outside. All that information to book me is in my description box and other products and services that I offer. Okay, Sagis, I just want to get into this reading because the energy feels good. It feels good. So, the overall energy we have here is Cornucopia. And I'm so happy to see this card. I haven't seen this card in a minute with the sign. So, this is good, okay? Now, it looks like You have here the lovers in reverse, the magician, and the falling tower in reverse. So it looks like in the past, Sagis, you could have been dealing with a karmic soulmate. Mm -hmm. You could have been in a situation where the sex was really good, but nothing else was going on. Uh, you could have realized that you made the, uh, the wrong choice with someone, getting with someone, being in a relationship with someone, because you experienced a lot of frustration uh, you could have been testing this person, uh, doing little things to see what their reaction would be, what their response would be, and they failed miserably, right? Someone failed with flying colors every time you tested them. You realize that someone was very unreliable, mm -hmm. and you had a lot of uh, third-party interference in a relationship. Some of you realize the person you were dealing with was shallow as shit. They were as deep as a motherfucking puddle, okay? Which means they weren't deep at all. Some of you realize that someone, they changed their mind or changed their feelings about you very often. And you were just fucking over that shit. Mm-hmm. You were over that. Because look at here, you healed. This is a major arcana. I love seeing this. You have healed from emotional wounds. You've healed from inner conflict. You've healed from psychological wounds. Mm -hmm. Someone who could have been mind-fucking you or had you in your, your head all the time, stressing you out. Look at this. You healed from somebody who had you stressed, depressed, anxious, uh, someone who made you feel hopeless, someone who made you feel powerless, someone who made you feel not worthy, someone who filled you with self-doubt or caused you, the things they did caused you to doubt yourself, doubt your abilities, you healed from that. Mm -hmm. So I feel like a lot of you healed from a situation where you, that you thought was going to bring you happiness. A situation that you thought was going to be... I want to say ten of cups for you, but the person that you were with, you thought that they were the one. You could have a family with them. You could have a stable relationship. You could create that home life for those of you that want that or wanted that or you wanted that stable, solid, secure relationship. You thought that you would have been able to have it with this person and you realized that you couldn't. But like I said, this is in the past. So what I'm loving about this is that you healed from all of this. Mm-hmm. And that's absolutely awesome. A lot of you too, this relationship that you were in, it was a catalyst for to push you on your spiritual journey. A lot of you, the planet is going through a mass awakening right now where people are realizing who and what they really are and walking in that. They're owning their power. And you are no different from that. You are a part of the conscious collective, right? So you are on a spiritual journey. And this helped to, uh, to push you towards going towards things that align with who you are now, uh, what you are now, and who you want to be. You know what? <laughs> you know what I just heard, Sagis? I just heard someone fucked with you so much you decided not to fuck with their ass anymore. Mm-hmm. Some of you, this is your ancestors, okay, that are just like, listen, Sagis got it now. They got it. Mm -hmm. And now you're focusing on 
filling uh, your own cups, wish fulfillment for you. And what I love about this, look at this, Sagis. If you see the sun is shining, you see the harvest is coming in, and you see the butterfly, okay? So uh, that's probably why you're on this, uh, checking out this video from the butterfly effect right now, because you have changed. This situation in the past, some of you, this situation ship in the past, changed you for the better now you're focusing on what's good for you some of you you're just focusing on your bag right and and that by you it's like you taking your focus off being in a relationship and focusing on your bag brings everything else in it's like you shifting uh what it is that was important to you not saying that being in a relationship is not important to you just now at this time it's not no it's not I feel like a lot of you are learning how to just be good by yourself, for yourself. And this is bringing in a lot of prosperity as well. Some of you, you are, you have the magician here. So that's why you have cornucopia. You guys are manifesting what it is that you want for yourself now. And the beauty of this is you have everything that you need. You have the experience. You have the talent. You have the capabilities. You have the faith. All this is right now is Spirit is saying to you, full, continue to focus on Connecting with yourself. Uh, some of you, Spirit is telling you to do meditation. Go into meditation. Go within so that you connect with yourself, connect with your higher self, connect with source, and that you can connect with others better. Uh, a lot of you, you are learning how to, by you connecting with yourself, you're going to learn how to follow your dreams. That is going to bring wish fulfillment into your life. And you know what? You've got queen. Queen of air here, Sagis. So you're seeing the facts about something. You know that if you want to get to where you want to go in life, you need to focus on you. And it's not coming from a selfish place at all. It's coming from a, I love myself, I know my worth, and I deserve this. Good for you. A lot of you, you're learning how to be more confident in yourself, um, have more self-esteem, follow your dreams, be more independent. And this is what this time is for. Now, a lot of you, you are in this energy right now where you are learning how to uh, boss up in your own way. I feel for some of you, you may be, you want to explore uh, sexuality. Some of you, I, I feel like there's someone in this collective, you you feel that you may be bisexual. Mm -hmm. Some of you feel like you don't like uh, the opposite sex anymore. You like the same sex. Do you, baby? Do you? This is about being happy. Okay? So go where your happiness, uh, or go where your happiness leads you. This is about you getting to know who you really are and what you really want for yourself. So I feel like someone is going to be, I'm seeing someone in my third eye come out of the closet with this wild outfit on and it's just like, fuck, this is me. Take it or leave it. Good for you, baby. Good for you. Mm -hmm. Stand for yourself. Be proud of yourself. So you, you're learning how to manifest what you want by connecting with who you are and learning how to go for what you really want by seeing things for what they really are. A lot of you, you've seen the truth of a situation and you may be coming off cold to someone or uh, very abrasive, but it's, it's really not that. It's just you know what you want now and you're not putting up with any shit from anybody. You're not letting anybody pull the wool over your eyes. You're not letting anybody have you in this energy anymore of doubting yourself or feeling hopeless or powerless or being in grief or sorrow about any type of shit. You're not letting anyone bring any grief to you. And that's awesome. Okay? this is You have wish fulfillment coming in. Cornucopia, Sagis. This is very... Very, 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 very good. Okay? Mm-hmm. Good for you. Look at this. You have the falling tower in the future, though, in reverse. So this person, <laughs> I was hearing this song. I, I don't know who sings it. Um, I think it's Young Blue. I don't even know who this artist is. I'm just seeing the name in my third eye. And um, Drake, I think. Um, mine still. Your mind still. Um, they say time heals. Dun, 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 but your mind still I don't even really know that song I heard it once or twice and that's it But somebody is trying to hold on to you Sagittarius Yes they are mm -hmm. But the thing is Someone wants to uh, keep you in an old cycle Of Being stressed Being depressed Feeling hopeless Feeling helpless uh, Full of fear Doubting yourself Someone wants to keep you in this energy, right? Because they believe that you belong to them. Someone wants to keep you in a relationship that you know was not happy and was not good for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Someone wants to keep you in this cycle of being in a rut where you're not moving forward, you're not making any progress. Yes. Mm -hmm. Someone wants to keep you in a cycle, Sagis, where you're not doing anything. You're just, I, I had gotten this reading for you a, a few weeks ago, I believe, about someone wanting to keep you in like this, um, it's like a globe, you know those snow globes, just keep you in a world with them doing nothing, right? It's just the same shit, different day. Someone does not want you to leave, Sagittarius. No, they don't. But you know this already. And the thing is, you're not questioning the fact that you don't want this for your life anymore. You want to explore. You're learning how to be more open, expand your horizons, expand your territory. And that's what spirit is guiding you towards doing. Because whoever this is right now, they just, I'm feeling a very, very codependent energy. This person needs you, Sagittarius. They need you to fill some type of void that they have within themselves that they need to fill within themselves. You are not responsible for anyone's happiness. They are. So someone wants to keep you stuck with them because I, I do believe that this person feels that you make them happy, but you're not happy, Sagis, and you're not making any progress in your life with this person around. I'm just going to talk the things and say it like it is. I'm going to keep it a whole hundred with you right now. Sagis, if you stay with this person, they're going to keep you in a cycle of going nowhere really fast, making no progress in your life, not being happy, and not, uh, not creating any real worthwhile change in your life for your life. But you know this. The thing is, you're not questioning this. I feel like a lot of you, you're not questioning your belief about something about not having a desire to do something or move forward with someone anymore. I'm going to pull some more clarifying cards for this. Spirit, what other messages do you have for Sagittarius? What does this person want with Sagittarius? What do they really want with Sagittarius? What are their intentions? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, Sagis, this person does love you. They just don't know how to love you. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to love you. And I feel for you, Sagis, you may have love for this person too, but you love yourself more than you love this person now. And it's about damn time. It's about damn time because you don't have desire. You don't have any desire to be with this person anymore. You've learned how to focus on yourself. You learn how to pour into your own cup. Yeah, look at this. There you are. There you are, baby. Mm -hmm. Queen of Earth. You've learned how to uh, focus on what's good for you. Mm -hmm. A lot of you show up as good parents, good homemakers. You care about how other people feel. You care about making people feel good. And now spirits like, do that for yourself. Do that for people who reciprocate that back to you. A lot of you too, you are, you're very fertile. This, this is a time in your life where you are moving into really using everything that you have to manifest, recognizing that you have everything that you need to create the life that you want for yourself. A lot of you too, you have really good energy. You're very loving, you're very caring, you're very nurturing, very supportive. And this chapter of your life, this cycle that you're moving into, because you've moved away from being suspended in the air doing jack shit, you're going to be manifesting a lot of great things in your life. Like I said, cornucopia, cornucopia, wish fulfillment. Whatever you want, it's right at your fingertips. Just go for it. Just go for it. Right? There's that butterfly again. Look at this. There's that butterfly again. You are not the same person. Look at this. Butterflies, butterflies, butterflies. I cannot make this up. Sagittarius, you are not the same person that you were when you used to be with this person. Okay, this energy from the past, you are not that person anymore. That's also why you have no desire for them because your vibrations don't match. Your frequency doesn't match to, the, to this, with this person. So I feel like their energy could be repelling yours now. Like you don't want anything to do with them because you're not the same person who would put up with that bullshit anymore because you love yourself. A lot of you, you're listening to your higher self. Some of you, you may be getting therapy or counseling to deal with uh, the emotional wounds. This has helped you to heal. But some of you have someone around you who they genuinely care about you. This could be a feminine energy. It doesn't have to be. It could be a mother, an older female sibling or older friend. But this person genuinely cares about your well-being. They want to see the best for you. And they, the advice that they give you, it's not biased. It's just they want you to learn how to love yourself so that you can do things that are more loving towards you. Someone may have told you that the person you're with is a piece of shit. And you need to leave them out of an, a selfish act of self-love. 
okay? You love yourself, you know your worth, and you don't stay with people like this anymore. Someone gave you some good advice, strategies that helped you to move forward. Someone's mom in this collective did not like who you're with. They thought they were a loser. And they thought they were a user. And your mother thought, believed that you could do way better. And your mother would not stop telling you about that. All these, Someone's mom in this collective would try to like hook them up with other people because they didn't want to see you. Your parent didn't want to see you with the person you were with. And you could have had a child or children with this person, but your your mama just didn't think they were good enough for you. And she was right. You know, that mom mom's intuition, it's real. It's real. Mm-hmm. Yeah, someone knows that this person wasn't very giving to you. I feel like someone gave you some advice as well, said you to stop giving to a situation that needs to be over because this person was not very generous with you. So and that's what I picked up earlier. Uh, Spirit was like, love yourself enough to not give to people who don't give to you. It's time to give an equal measure to equal reciprocity, to exercise equal reciprocity. If someone is not uh, pouring into your cups, then why are you pouring into theirs? If someone is not even putting their cup on your on your table, then why are you putting your cup on theirs? Keep your shit to yourself. Because you will attract people that genuinely love you, people you don't have to chase, people that don't make you feel like you're not good enough. There was a lot of third-party energy in, um, in this relationship I'm picking up. Someone was with someone who just kept fucking cheating on them. Just cheating on them. And you would forgive them, but you forgave them out of a, a lack of love, self-esteem, and self-confidence. It's like you didn't think that you would be able to meet anybody else or be in a better relationship with someone else. The Spirit's like, fuck that, Sagis. Yes, you can. As soon as you leave this, as soon as you leave this mess, look at this. The sun starts shining for you. You start getting wish fulfillment. You start creating the life and living the life that you fucking deserve, Sagittarius. Good for you, baby. Good for you. Spirit, can I get one more card? Can I get one more card? So someone, I feel like your higher self could have finally got through to you. You finally started listening and told you to stop giving to a situation. It's like, uh, I just heard, stop trying to get blood from a rock. Because this person wasn't trying to change yet. Yeah. Don't focus on this anymore. Don't focus on this person. This is done and over with. And you need to focus on yourself. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Mind, body, and soul. Make sure all those energies are focused on what you want for yourself. Not this person anymore. Not this situation. Not this relationship. Some of you, you are dead ass dead ass in a situationship. This person, when I say they were cheating on you, they're cheating on you with anybody. Anybody and everybody. I'm really sorry to see this and sorry to feel this, but sadly, some of you, you were dealing with someone who would like, they just fuck anything, right? For my masculines, you were dealing with somebody who, uh, they could have had a, um, what is it, a sex addiction? Yeah. Wow. Some of you, you were dealing with a Leo. I just heard Leo. That you were dealing with a sex addicted Leo who would just fuck anything, anything that gave them attention, right? Wow. Okay, some of you feminines in this collective, you were dealing with someone who would just, they would fuck anything with a hole in it. Like they would fuck a tree if it had a hole in it. Like it was that bad. And Spirit's like, no, 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 no. Sajis, you deserve better than this and you need to recognize that. It's time for you to leave this. Spirit, what last message of guidance, messages of guidance and advice do you have for the Sagittarian Collective? Thank you. Thank you so much. Sagis, oh, look at this. Plan for success. Uh, before I get into this, I just felt um, some of you here with somebody who is really, really good at hiding things. They've learned over the years how to hide their shit really well. And they put on this show for you, but intuitively you knew that something was up and that's why uh, you're getting blessed now because you listen to your intuition you went with what you felt not what you see or what you didn't see because someone when i say they are like they were like james bond with it bro the way how they would hide shit somebody has some kind of security code on their phone it's like biometrics you need to give blood to open the phone like why the fuck are you locking your shit like that what do you have in there Saggy is good for you for walking away from this person because this person has some karma coming to them and spirit is protecting you because spirit does not want their karma to affect you because they have a piece of hot sauce coming for their ass for all the bullshit that they've been doing. Some of you Saggies in this collective, you were with somebody who when you would leave, this person would bring other people over and sleep with them in your bed, sleep with them on your couch, mm -hmm. sleep with them in your car. 
Sagis, you did real fucking good. That's why Spirit said, do not fuck with this person. We have something for, I'm going to take care of their ass. Wow. Spirit said, leave them alone. I'll deal with them. And you plan for success. It's your turn for success. Get ready to receive the rewards of your hard work. This is you being in magician mode. Using everything that you have to create the life that you want. To manifest your wish fulfillment. Set boundaries with activities or people that could be blocking you from success. This is this motherfucker over here that wants to keep you in the past with them doing nothing. Keep you, um, look at this, because you show up in such nurturing, loving energy. Keep you taking care of them while they do jack shit. While they do not, look at this. While they don't give to you, they want you to give to them. Fuck that. Spirit says set boundaries with these bitches, okay? Break big goals down into smaller steps, working on one thing at a time. This is you. This is Spirit confirming. You're on the right path with your manifestations. If you may feel overwhelmed, break things down into smaller steps so that you can tackle them one at a time, okay? Uh, change comes little by little. I just heard wealth comes little by little, Sagis. A lot of you, you're on your way to big, big bucks, okay? Big money. So take your time and build your foundation little by little, one brick at a time. Some of you, Spirit is advising you to find a mentor to help you along your journey towards success and celebrate your success. You got real far here, Sagittarius. Yes, you did, my Sagis. You've come real friggin' far from this bullshit that you were dealing with. So be proud of yourself. Some of you, I'm going to tell you, go for a drink. Uh -huh. Go have a picnic with yourself in the park. Take yourself out to dinner. Whatever you got to do to celebrate your success for just getting this far. You deserve it. You absolutely deserve it. Sagis, I think this was an excellent reading. Thank you so much for checking out the video. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this up. You have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye, baby.